Praise the name of the Lord. I want to talk about the spiritual basis of cancer. You know, when you miss the diagnosis, you're going to miss the treatment, you're going to miss the management, and the prognosis may be hopeless. But you know that when you pinpoint with accuracy the real diagnosis, the real cause of a problem, you are more likely to cure that problem and remove the causative or contributory factors. I want to examine the root and the key issue concerning the menace, the curse, the disease, and the devastation called cancer. Cancer is not just a name. In the spirit realm, cancer looks like crab. The demon of cancer, the evil spirit of cancer, resembles a crab. Actually, that's the name. If you look at the signs of the zodiac, cancer is crab. And that's exactly the way the demon looks in the realm of the spirit. It's a foul spirit. And because it's a foul spirit, the smell is like the smell of death when you visit a cancer ward in an oncology unit of a major hospital. That is exactly the way cancer is perceived supernaturally. Now I want to go into some deep issues here because a lot of times there are multiple factors or what I call causative factors in the etiology, pathogenesis, progression, and manifestation of cancer diagnosis. And I want to come from spiritual perspective here, but I want to look at it from holistic aspect, holistic dimension, from the realm of the spirit, soul, body, relationship, career, cash flow, and everything that surrounds the person's situation and circumstances, including stress, distress, and devastation when it comes to action and reaction and the person's personality because sometimes we ask about the diagnosis what kind of disease the person has but we should start asking what kind of person have the disease and that's where i'm coming from before cancer manifests at least seven years before the advent or materialization of cancer for that matter the liver has been sluggish, the liver has been dirty, the liver has been working, you know, over time or is diseased and it's been taking punishment. And most people don't change their diet at all. And one time I was asking the Lord how diet affects cancer, spiritually speaking. And the answer was that dietary deficiency or nutrient deficiency the building block of tissues organs glands and cells when the cells lack this tissue they start cutting corners they become weak and weakness attracts the arrow of cancer and makes it more devastating another thing that contributes to cancer which is actually a spiritual problem that people do not recognize is stress, distress, and devastation. Worry, especially, because the body was not designed to worry. It removes or brings in what is called oxidative stress, rather. Now, if you understand worry, I've discovered that within six months to one year before people succumb to the arrow of cancer, they have been exposed, their immune system have gone down and their supernatural protection has actually 
been let down or been weakened by stress or distress, which leads to inflammation and the exposure of the organs to spiritual attacks. And most of these spiritual attacks come through dream, especially eating in the dream. And they are from witchcraft altars. So these are some of the contributory factors to cancer before the arrow of death comes in. The reason the arrow of death comes in is because already the body is weakened. The hormones which are spiritual aspect of us that goes through the bloodstream that turns things off and on including the gene causes initiation progression and perpetuation of cancer to its manifestation now it doesn't matter whether the cancer is in the blood or blood tissue whether it's in the major organs like the breast like the prostate, what I call the productive organs, or uterine cancer, or any other form of cancer for that matter, you discover that cancer primarily is a spiritual or psycho-spiritual problem. Now, how do you forestall or stop the devastation or the arrow of cancer? It's a multifactorial approach. You approach it from the spirit, from the soul, from the body. And from circumstances and situations surrounding the person. You see, people don't normally change their diet. And as you grow older, what people eat is what forms their life, what forms their tissue, what forms their organs and glands, what forms their basic unit called cells and if you discover that if you don't change your diet if you don't change what you're putting into your mouth you will not change your life simply put you are what you eat so why be a twinkie why eat junk why not get the knowledge get the understanding get the revelation and spiritual intelligence and wisdom concerning nutrition. The Bible says that the life of man depends on plants. There are too many chemicals in food, in our water, in our environment, in the air, even in the land, as well as all the fruit and vegetable we eat. Because of that, we have to detoxify the body. We have to purge the body. We have to cleanse the body. This is the equivalence of deliverance in the nutritional health cycle. And because people don't understand deliverance, these demons are what creates problem. Because when the immunity is done and there is weakness, supernatural, spiritual, physical, uh, psycho-spiritual weakness, that creates the background, that creates the bedrock, that creates the platform for arrow or spirit of cancer to stick and once it sticks all other things follow it becomes a process of downward heal and the doctors do not make matters better because most of them not only ignore the spiritual dimension they ignore nutrition they ignore the factor of stress or situation concerning the person's personality and the soulish realm that coordinates or conspire to create this synergy called cancer. Now, if you understand this, you have to know how to deal with cancer from the root or the contributory factors. Therefore, Father, I come against every spirit of cancer program projected from witchcraft altars, projected from author of wickedness, author of sickness, and author of disease. I come against author of death, hell, and grave. I come against author of the coffin by the enemy. Every witchcraft pollution, anti-destiny witchcraft dream of devastation, witchcraft dream 
of infirmity, witchcraft dream, of demonic arrow, of cancer, of crab, of demonic arrow of death. I destroy, I remove, I cancel, I shatter, I eliminate, I exterminate, I obliterate. I destroy by the fire of the Holy Ghost and the blood of Jesus Christ that bought our freedom from sickness, from disease, from growth, from demonic cancer, from demonic tumor, growth, infiltration. Your body, child of God, is the body of Christ. Is the temple of the Holy Ghost. It's not an embodiment of sickness. It's not an embodiment of disease. It's not an embodiment of infirmity. It's not an embodiment of any form of growth, cancer, or metastasis. I curse the root of cancer from the source, from the origin. I refuse it. I reject it for my audience. I crush, I cancel, and shatter and scatter every power of the enemy. To cut your life short in any way, shape, or form. I cast away, I cast off the spirit of death back to hell, back to where they are coming from. Arrow of cancer, go back to hell and I lock you in dragon dungeon, never to visit the body of my audience again. As you listen to the voice of this prayer, I crush by the blood of Jesus Christ and the fire of the Holy Ghost and the word of God. That has been sent. Father, you said you sent your word and healed them and redeemed them from every destruction of the enemy. And Father, I use the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and put it in the heart of the enemy. And I cancel every root, every remnant, every seedling of cancer. No matter the type of organ, whether it's breast cancer, blood cancer, prostate cancer, reproductive cancer, cancer or tumor anywhere in the body i use it as a point of contact to destroy every growth to destroy every demonic tumor or cancer or devastation or metastasis or seedling in the liver in the kidneys in the brain or wherever it has spread in the body i refuse and reject it i cancel it i devastate it i destroy it i nip it in the bud I cause the root, I cause the origin, I cause the source by the fire of the Holy Ghost, right from the spirit realm, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be cancer free. I eliminate cancer. I send it back to hell where it belongs. Because it's not God's plan and purpose for his children. Our heritage, our inheritance in divine health is wholeness and newness and awareness. To walk in perfect health, to walk in perfect harmony, to walk in perfect newness, to perf- walk in perfect hormonal balance and hormonal uh, uh, construction according to perfect biochemistry, perfect physiology, perfect anatomy, perfect structure and function as God will have it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I walk in divine health and I pray it for my audience. I pray divine wholeness and awareness and newness in their life. And Father, I thank you, I bless you, because you have spare parts of every organ in the body. You have spare parts of every tissue, of every cell. You have spare parts of every organ and every gland in our body. And Father, I thank you from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. As I pray for my audience, O God, I drive away every seedling by the glory of God, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, and by the anointing of God that breaks every yoke, that breaks every shackle, breaks every chain, and remove your people from the bondage of sickness and disease of any type or description. You are diagnosed with cancer, and at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, you must bow, you must go. You must disappear and go back to hell, and go back to where you come from, and be locked up in dragon dungeon, never to show up again in the body of my audience, in any way, shape, or form. Father, I thank you for your people. I thank you for enjoyment of perfect health. And I destroy every altar that is programming and projecting evil, programming cancer, programming growth, programming high blood pressure, programming diabetes, programming organ failure, programming organ derangement, or organ hiccup in any way, shape, or form. Thank you, King of Glory. And I pray divine peace, shalom, Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing out of joint. And I pray complete and total awareness from the crown of your head, 
my audience, to the sole of your feet, even up to the tips of your finger. Let the fire of God, let the fire of healing, let the fire of deliverance, let the fire of wholeness and newness, let the fire of restoration of health come through you, come over you, go through you, heal you totally and completely in perfect order. 